We begin tonight with tragedy in Littleton, where a seventh grader was hit and killed while riding his bike to school. Euclid Middle School has identified the little boy as Liam Stewart. It happened this morning at Southy Laddie and West Arapahoe Drive. Police say the driver stayed on scene. No charges have been filed at this time. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon has been in Littleton all afternoon, where there's now a growing memorial at the intersection. People have been coming constantly to this intersection here in Littleton, where Liam Stewart, a seventh grader, died while on his way to school this morning. He was just trying to get to Euclid Middle School. It's only a few blocks from here. The loss in a Littleton neighborhood. He was very like intelligent and yeah, he was just a good person overall. Doesn't feel real. I was dropping off flowers for um, like the, I guess, memorial of Liam Stewart. Jameson Cunningham says Liam Stewart was in a few of her classes at Euclid Middle School. Seventh period, um, they like fully announced that he passed away. In a message to the school community, the principal said Liam was heading to school on his bicycle and died after a crash involving a car. I could totally understand because it never, it never goes away. It never does, uh, the loss of a child. Kelly Husher, who's lost a child, came to the memorial to show support for the Stewart family. The English language doesn't have a, a word for the loss of a child. You've got a widow, a widower, every other word we could describe in one word. There's a reason why you can't describe the loss of a child, because it is that undescribable. A pain that can't be put into words translates to anger for neighbors like David Stowell. This stretch of Alati is not safe. We as Americans don't know how to handle roundabouts. He believes the roundabouts on the street are part of the problem. Most of the neighbors hate them because we've seen the hazards, the near miss accidents. Saying students have the right to get to school safely while classmates work to understand loss at such a young age. That's definitely gonna feel different because he always sits in a seat like with his friends and stuff and then seeing it, he won't be there. But knowing Liam's light won't burn out. In that message that was sent to the Euclid Middle School community, the principal said that a card or a gift card for food could be dropped off at the counseling office at the school. They'll make sure the Stewart family does get those. That same message said Liam had younger brothers. In Littleton, Colette Bordeaux on Denver 7. Oh, I can't imagine what his family is going through. Students will be in class tomorrow at Euclid Middle School. Counselors and mental health staff will be on site to support them.